If you want your situation to change, I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you that you don't have to lift a finger. Nothing. All you have to do is use the power of your mind, the power of your intention, and let the universe rework things for you, move things around for you. That's all. So basically, you have to make sure that the choices that you make starting today, starting today, the choices that you make no longer energize or feed your unwanted reality, okay? So your unwanted reality is feeling negative, it's not feeling happy, it's not feeling grateful, it's not feeling peaceful, it's not feeling abundant. So you have to make sure that your actions match up with your wanted reality. How do you want to feel in the future? You have to start feeling it today. You see, your future self is working with you now for you to course correct your life so that you can prepare for that life. So if you're at a job that you're too afraid to leave, don't leave. Like I said, you don't have to lift a finger. But instead of complaining all the time, which is only feeding your unwanted reality, your misery, your unhappiness, change your attitude, okay? Prepare yourself to become your future self. And at some point, the universe is going to say, man, we have nothing left to teach this person. They've learned every lesson at this job. They've learned every lesson in this relationship. So now we're going to eject them from this situation because we want to keep them interested. We want to keep them motivated. We want to keep them inspired. So now you're going to be uprooted and you're going to be sent to another situation. This is how it works. You don't have to lift a finger. You don't have to move your feet. You don't have to quit. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is make sure that your actions, your choices match up with the experience that you're wanting to have. How do you want to feel in the future? Do you want to feel miserable? No. So stop complaining today. How do you want to feel in the future? Do you want to feel supported? Do you want to feel loved? Then start loving yourself today. Stop being so hard on yourself all the time. Stop criticizing the employees that you work with or your husband or your wife. Step into the version of yourself that you see yourself becoming. This is precisely why you are where you are. It's because you have to be able to handle it. You have to be able to increase your emotional capacity and your empathy for yourself and others while you're where you are, okay? Otherwise, your attitude is never going to change. And, and when the future happens, you're going to be doubly overwhelmed because if you couldn't handle the previous situation, there's no way you can handle this future situation. You know, it's like if you said to me, uh, I've never handled business my entire life and I want to be a pop star. Well, you're going to get fucked by every manager and agent in Hollywood. So first you have to gather your wits about you, learn your business ethic, learn business in and out. And now you're not only a pop star, but you're a pop star who's building an empire who, who's in charge of her business or your, his business. Everything you're going through right now is preparing you for what you've asked for. This is what you have to understand is that you're perfectly positioned today at the job in the relationship to learn the lesson that you haven't learned yet. And typically the lesson is as simple as are my actions lining up with my future self? If I'm always complaining, if I'm always playing the victim, if I'm always nagging my husband or my wife, I'm not spreading love. So I'm not ready to receive that future. I'm actually pushing away my future. So ask yourself, are your choices inviting your future in or are they blocking out your future? And it's as simple as that. You never have to lift a finger. In fact, you should start believing in the magic of your mind, the power of your thoughts, the power of your intention, and start working cooperatively with them to bring in your highest potential. In your highest potential, you're over the moon. You're peaceful. You're happy. You're free. You're smiling. You're laughing. You're loving. So what are you doing today that isn't that? Clean up your act. Clean up your act and you're going to be able to usher in a brand new reality full of joy, love, abundance, support, and all of that good stuff.